Hey guys, what's up? It's If You Did Would You, and today, well, obviously you can see some new additions you've obviously been wondering about. Um, I got this yellow tang. Um, he's really, he's, he's a baby, but he's doing great, and I have some pictures of him, and I gotta tell you a story. Uh, as you see, I got this rose bubble tip anemone, and uh, I'll do a video on them later, but it is very healthy, and it is very big, and, uh, my clownfish is hosting it. I have some pictures that I'm going to show you here. But anyways, so first day I got him, the rose bubble tip anemone and the, um, dang, uh, <laughs> the yellow tang, I obviously did the drip acclimation process, but um, after I put him in, I placed the anemone in a cool spot that I made for him, and uh, it was awesome. Chief went in right away, and uh, it was great. Uh, so then I decided to, well, no, I didn't just decide to. I went to bed, and um, I woke up in the morning. The enemy moved. Oh, the enemy moved. Great. You know, they do that. Uh, you know, it's like it just moved out of the spot I gave him. But he moved under this rock, The um, my green star polyps. And um, so I was like, yeah, uh, whatever. He's some of the green star polyps. And uh, I can't do anything about it. See if we can get a better view of it right now. Come on, Chief, move. But it's very healthy. Anyways, he moved. And then, um, you know, I, I kind of wanted to move him back. I did some research on the Rose Bowl of Anemone, even though I already knew a ton about him. I uh, did some more research on him. I watched some more videos, and I heard... You know, that's normal, they're just trying to acclimate to the system, and uh, so I was like, alright, cool, but I couldn't just stand see him, seeing him behind that rock. Maybe I was going to encourage him to move some way, like re my rocks. So, by re the rocks, he's going to get a different variety of flow and everything, so I decided that. I removed the, I moved the rocks. This is the first time I moved the rocks, and it, was, it isn't this design, I moved the rock, I had to aquascape twice, and I'll tell you why. And then I reacted the rocks. Uh, he didn't move. I pointed a power head at him for uh, about a day, and he didn't move. So you know, I was really, really pissed. And uh, so then I, I came back to my room, and one of the rocks had fallen. I no wonder why. But my clownfish chief here, he tends to wherever the anemone goes, he will clear all of the sand out of the sand bed. As you see, it's just flat sand right here, and then right there, and that isn't any algae, that's just glass, because right in my old uh, design, that rock right there, or the, where the green star pops are, it was over right there. That's where the anemone was, so he just brushes all the sand away with his tail, and he will bump into rocks, try to pick them up with his sharp teeth, and I remember that whenever I had to move the rocks. I wore two sets of gloves, guys. Two sets of gloves. Put my hand in there to start the aquascaping. And he comes up to my hand and he just charges at it and bites it into pieces. So obviously then I put those gloves on. Uh, he still is trying to bite it, but when I put the net in, I tried to net him to put him in another bucket. You know, obviously I can't net this fish. Uh, there's rocks and stuff in the tank and everything. So I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to have to deal with it. I, I, hold the, I hold the net in one hand and the and I re the whole rock design with the other hand. So I managed to come up with this. I'm actually pretty proud of it. It's my best design yet, I think. I don't know what you guys think. And then, um, so, yeah, I just re to this. And, um, yeah, here I am today. It was really funny. After each aquascape design, I would see the yellow tank. And he's just swimming out in front of the tank. Uh, hey, guys, what's up? You know, it's just like, so he, he's not shy at all. Bless me. Ah, uh, thank you for saying bless you if you did. Anyways, so yeah, and I uh, I don't know if you can notice, but I hooked up another pump right there, and I have that hooked up to my Hydro Corrales Smart Wave Pump Controller, uh, because whenever I hook it into that, in which this one right there, that's the old model, and I'm gonna be getting new Hydro Corrales in their uh, the new model, and they have uh, their you know, specifically designed not to do that when they're plugged into the controller, because that's what people have been experiencing. 
with the old design. And the old design, it's hard to tell with the pump. It was the old design, but you can really tell by the box. This is the old design's box. Yes, I've kept this for two years now. I'm that weird. Anyways, but the new design just has, it's kind of black and white, it's pretty sleek, and it has the, obviously the hydros pump on it, I'm going to be getting two 1400 gallon per hour pumps. Remember you guys, this tank is for sale, it used to be for sale for 235 bucks. no one was looking at it, so now I'm on the price, I'm taking a big step and I'm lowering it all the way down to 120 bucks. That's probably the lowest I'm going to go guys, um, but remember you get the, the, um, the canopy, which isn't on there right now because it's LEDs and that doesn't uh, grow my SPS and stuff. I had an SPS die uh, just the other day, you know, obviously because so I had to switch to my metal halides and uh, they work great. Great, great, great. And there are some corals that just completely dominate when it comes to my LEDs that I had and then there's others that it just doesn't. One of them is this. And the reason this is kind of on the ground, and remember it used to be right there in that rock, but look at it, it's only star polyps. Now LEDs grew the star polyps so well, because remember, this piece right there used to be right in front of, I'll zoom in on it. This piece right here used to be right in the center of that rock right there. But obviously, it's right there. Obviously, star polyps just grew around it so much that it just pinched it out. You can see. And, um, but it grew that piece very well. I was very happy with how it was um, giving that coral lots of color and growth. And uh, the star props, like I said again, eh, they do great with. And um, that's why I had to sell some. And then there's this coral right here. He's kind of to the side right now. But that coral right there is very pretty. It's the, something like Galaxia or something. And then this coral, or it's the same one. You know how I know it's doing so good? Because first of all, every day it's extending its tentacles out. And, you know, I feed it, so it's not because it's hungry or anything. But since its tentacles out, and it's just really healthy. And then it used to be on this rock right there. You can't see it from here, but when I pulled that piece off to put it in uh, a little corner right over here with all my coral, coral corner when I was aquascaping so I didn't get crushed, I, um, I found this one. I peeled it off. Part of it was growing onto this rock right here. You see it encrusted all the way over into the next rock right there. So that, the Galaxia stuff does very good. Frog spawn, see my frog spawn right over there? It's hard with the blue lighting because it kind of just matches, but. Right there, my frog spawn. It is great with the frog spawn. You see even on the coral skeleton part of it, it there's star pops growing on it. And then, oh, mushrooms, oh my gosh, they do great. I have some of that stuff, I don't know what that is, but it grows really well with that. It's more of hard, it's not really a SPS. Well, it might be, I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, that's a quick update on my tank, it was nine minutes, wow. Um, yeah, how would I do a part two? Because that took just nine minutes. It was, I'll explain it, try to get it up to ten minutes right here. Um. Anyways, the other video is going to be called BHO is the way to go. Um, so watch that. This is just the update portion of it. So don't pay attention to anything in the beginning. And um, if you did, whatever, fine. But anyways, yeah, that was just this quick update. Like I said, the tank and the stand and the canopy and my protein skimmer, which works great, is rated up for 100 gallons. Um, but you know sometimes they advertise more than it actually does so it's perfect for this tank remember to go plus one with those kind of things so I did and it, it works great um, so yeah just 120 bucks so not the sump or anything just the stand or the tank the stand the canopy and you know you can do some of those corals or you can just do a fish only if you prefer a predator tank so I don't know whatever you want uh, 120 bucks PM me or something uh, peace.